Hey, it's while you're in there. Uh, it's been a little while. I've been waiting on motor mounts actually. Uh, but the head is still at the machine shop. Uh, this coming Saturday to be four weeks. He told me four to five weeks out. So I'm going to give it six. So that's just how the block went last time. But anyway, um, got these off of Quadratech. They're 106 bucks. They're the bomb proof ones. Uh, 106 bucks if you get them in plain raw steel. I painted mine because um, I wanted to match all the rest of the theme that I got going on. But uh, if you want the zinc plated ones, they're like $32 more. I think 136 But anyway, these things are sturdy. I mean, they got really good heavy welds on them. Um, and I actually made a mistake. The first ones I ordered, I ordered ones with the one inch lift. So I thought that's how what these were and I goofed up actually so for anyone who wants to know from the bottom of this bracket to the center of this hole this bolt hole it's two and a quarter inches that's your standard stock engine mount height and I don't know these weren't real bad but they kind of shrunk up over the years the rubber just kind of like I don't know shrunk up uh, it does warn you in the instructions on these though, you're going to have a lot more vibration at, at idle, is what it said, at idle. Uh, because these things are so stiff, they're not like the big rubber ones I had to give. Um, but I'm willing to sacrifice that to have the engine in there really solid. So that's the trade-off. You're going to have a little bit of vibration at idle. You might, you might not. I don't know. Might always have vibration anyway. Probably because these are worn out, so maybe it'll be even better now. Or just even less of a vibration would be good. But anyway, I'm going to throw one of these in real quick. I got one sitting in there already. So let me move the camera around here and grab the light. There we go. But I got the one in there already. All right, the light's really. Makes me want to paint the firewalls overall again. But I'm going to put this one on over there and use this motor mount as the camera base. Okay, all the way off. All right, right there. So let me grab the mounts. They do not come with new hardware, so. You gotta reuse your old nut and bolts. And I actually put some Loctite on these. Just because of the forewarning of the vibrations that are in the instructions. So I don't want them backing out just because I was idling one day. Uh, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter deep well say deep so you can get to this one and I'm just gonna go all the way till I hit the bottom this one I'm wrenching on now the it's just a bolt that goes into a nut that's welded to the inside of the frame so I'm gonna Till it touches and then back it off a quarter turn. Maybe a little more. Because if you look at this, the way they make these brackets, there's actually a slot that goes long ways on this back one, and this hole in the frame goes this way. So there's room in here for adjustment. So what I'm going to do is just snug them up like I did the other one there. So it touches. I'm gonna come back and drop the engine in it right through this. Okay, so I hit the butt. Now I don't want it to be that tight. Because I want to use that adjustment that's made it built into everything. So that's all I'm doing for now for that. Um, so next I'm gonna drop the motor in. But I'm probably going to end this one here because the 
camera only cores for 30 minutes at a time and then it shuts off on its own. So, real quick on the motor mounts. Uh, they look cool in there. Guess all the black framework. So the next one will be the motor and uh, watch the next one, man.